So let's say you want to import your data from the website. You've seen a table online or you have access to some information online and you are interested in those information and you want to export or import them into the Excel sheet um, to work on them, to do some cleaning, manipulations and all that. So let's see how you can go about that. Do you have the link already? Because you have to have the link from where you see the data. Let's say for me i got this data here um the list of the largest selling pharmaceutical products so it has like two three tables this is another one this is another one and i'm interested in these tables so you just copy this link here you have the link i've copied the link already so i can still copy just for this sake Control copy yes so you go to your excel sheets plain excel sheets um you can get data here from where is it from your excel sheets from text file from excel from everything here okay if you cannot find from internet here just go from database from this from this from this from online okay can we go from here from other sources okay maybe this will have it yes from the website so from other sources to from web so it will open um an advanced table where you can put the URL. So once you put in the URL, you just click the OK and it will look for the data. It will look for all the tables on that website. Now you'll be able to select oh, which table do you want to work with. Now, which table do you want to work with? Okay, so we select multiple items so that we can select more than one table. Um, Let's say we want the best selling pharmaceutical products for 2013. We want for the US market. We want the largest selling pharmaceutical products. Um, let's say we want this one. Let's see what's in this table, if it will be useful. If it's not useful, you don't have to import it because it will just make your workspace clumsy. If this is not useful, you don't have to import it. So from the stage of um importing your data you would have been screening which data will be useful which one will not be useful look at this data it has almost everything that you might actually need for the year 2013 everything is in there the companies their diseases the approved date you know potential expiry dates everything here when we are cleaning data we might need to separate this month and this year from here um that's why mostly when you want to open the data, you open it into the Power Query Editor so that you can clean it up and have a clean slate for your visualization and transformation. So we have all this now. So you would have checked the tables. That's a train. You check the tables if they are good for you to use. Look at this other one. Yes, it has something yes this is more than 2013 it has so many other years that you might also need when you are looking at your visualization or when you are preparing your reports so we can transform this once if we click data transform if we click on transform data it will open our power query editor but if we lead, click on load it will just load this all these tables into our excel sheets so we don't want it to load we want to do some transformation some cleaning some separation you know from from the tables um so that we can edit them before we now close and load to the table or connect to the table so that's it if you have a um online link um you have a website you have any um web-based table that you want to use in your visualization in your report preparation for your company or for your work or for your practice if you are still learning you can get data from online websites that's wikipedia that i just used so data is everywhere so you can get data from anywhere and use it for your practice or your visualization or your transformation or in your power query so that's how to go about it always don't forget to label so when you finish with the transformation when you finish with editing you know like all these ones you may want to change this 
data type to number depending on what you need for your transformation we'll go through all these things as we continue in this training so when you do, you're done you want to close and load back to your excel sheets or make connections um and don't forget to save your um data it is important so by and large that's how to go from websites if you have any table on website if you have t any table online that you think will be useful for your work that's how to get it into the power query editor or the excel sheet eventually so if you want it to go to the excel sheet so that you can keep it just do close and load so everything will come here everything will be here you have access to them here so you already have the table can you see they are all in this sheet now all in this sheet so you want to get tables you want to get data from online so that you can use for your work that's how to get them then you can continue to edit and continue to work on them as time goes on thank you so much for watching this video and i hope to see you in the next one any of your data analysis um, queries, questions, worries, just drop them in the comment section and let's deal with them together. Let's take you from the beginning level to the expert level that you want. See you. Bye.